think it's a colour and a behaviour thing with the birds I like. Like with the blue tits, I like the fact they've got blue and yellow together. I like the red and the white on the woodpeckers. Kingfishers as well. They're probably one of my favourites of most of all birds actually because they've got nice turquoises and oranges in their feathers and I like to use those colours together a lot. My name's Phonographic and I'm a graffiti artist. Today I've been at the Onca Gallery in Brighton, painted for the Ghost of Gone Birds exhibition. It's uh, an exhibition about extinct birds and to raise awareness to protect other birds in the world. The birds that I painted are Huai birds from New Zealand. Uh, they, got, they got hunted to extinction because they were used on hats for people back in the Victorian times. I paint with my partner Chris quite a lot. He uh, goes under the artist name Rocket01. We both get inspired by the same things, nature and the environment. I think that's what I find it has given me a lot of inspiration is growing up somewhere that's very green and being able to see nature at its best, I guess. <laughs> It's important to bring nature into urban spaces. There's not enough awareness on the topic of nature. A lot of young people that I work with through in spray painting, they don't really care about nature as such and um, a lot of people are quite ignorant to it. My artwork is the only thing I can do myself to help spread the message then that's what I'll do I think. <laughs> Everybody relates to art one way or another, so it's easy for people to get inspired and influenced by artwork that is representing nature, um, whether it's kids looking at a mural in a playground that's of a jungle, or it's um, a mural in the city down a back street or something, you know. It, as long as it's hitting somebody in the face, I think that's when people will start to be inspired by nature more often. I've done quite a few projects based around uh, environmental animal awareness and, and birds and stuff. Uh, the last one I did was for the BSPB in Bulgaria for their Red Breasted Goose project. I went over and I painted a few things for them. In general though I do like to try and paint birds in as many countries as I get to go to. So um, I've done a hummingbirds in San Francisco and flamingos in Cyprus yeah, and then there's a blue tit in Manchester as well that's just a few I like to use spray paints because you can add these colours really easily to make stuff look really vibrant and stand out off the wall so it's it's quite, it's quite a nice paint to use really. I, I recommend it for anybody. <laughs> Wait, no, get rid of that bit. <laughs> it's time to choose it. I'm not trying to sell spray painting, anyway. I think street art and graffiti is gradually becoming more acceptable. For as long as we're here, people will always draw on walls whether it's with pencil crayons or stones or spray paint, we'll always be doing it. It's just another way of us expressing ourselves. I think I'd like to keep painting bigger wildlife on bigger walls. That's one of my aims. So for me to be painting artwork and creating stuff that's, you know, bringing awareness to people about nature and stuff is, is what I wanted to achieve with my work. 